Happy Monday, Trade Hackers. Monday, March 29th, here with your day trading recap. Uh, scratched out a measly $64 today, but hey, that's better than being in the red. Things started to kind of go against me here. I just closed everything out about uh, five, 10 minutes ago. It's it's 1.20 in the afternoon, later than I wanted to trade today, but uh, that's okay. So here's what we got. Two mighty 90s, both were profitable. One Microsoft for 40, that was basically a scratch. Zoom plus 500. Uh, on our pairs trade, we did a pairs trade long NASDAQ versus short Dow. That was a loser for 224. And then on the runners, a little bit in the red, uh, Boeing minus 406, Piton minus 592, my big winner in Tesla 821, Twitter minus 685, and another nice winner in Walmart plus 610. So let's go over these, show you what we did, starting with the mighty 90s. Uh, Microsoft was the first one. So Microsoft was looking pretty weak, uh, started to flush down. Uh, and then, but we got a nice volume spike right here. So got long somewhere in this area, right at the end of this bar, somewhere in this one. And it pushed against us, pushed against us. We got a little bit of a bounce. It kind of chopped around. And when it gave us these big two green bars, I just cut out of it at that point and took a, took a small $40 profit. In Zoom, Zoom was a nice winner. Let me expand this for you. So Zoom was coming down and then bounced. And on this bounce, we got a nice volume spike. And so I got short right here. Got out of half of it right as it came down to this uh, to Friday's open. Held on to the other piece. And when it flushed down here below, I cut out the rest and booked a nice 500 even on that one. On to the runners, so Boeing. So Boeing is one that I just got out of not too long ago here, just a few minutes ago before I started this recording. Uh, but Boeing, so Boeing uh, was looking like it was gonna be strong, had that initial strength above Friday's high. You can see it's still up almost 2%. It was up over you know, like three and a half percent at one point. Bounced off Friday's high, hit a new high, and then just started coming down. When it came down here, I got long thinking we might come up and at least retest the highs, uh, but it didn't. It kind of kind of fell apart. So I added a little bit more down here, and then it kind of chopped around, chopped around, bounced up, got out of some for a profit, uh, and then it started coming down again. I think I added back in here, bounced. I think I got out of some more. I can't remember the exact spots. And then I was holding my last piece, and this thing just kind of kept bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. And like I said, I was kind of at a point where I was either going to keep my $64 that I had for the day or, or potentially go red for the day. I just didn't, and I was done trading uh, a little bit later in the day than I wanted. Uh, like I said, it's right now it's 122 in the afternoon, got out of everything about five, 10 minutes ago. So just cut out there and took a loss in BA. Piton. So Piton had this initial second bar that was high. So when it pulled back, got long, and this thing just never gave us a bounce. Uh, I was trying to, I, I added right here and caught a bounce, so I was able to get some back, uh, but ended up still taking a loss in Piton. Tesla was a very nice winner. Let's take a look at our friend Tesla. So Tesla had these big volume bars on this flush here, so on this bounce, I got short right here, came down, got out of half, came back up, or I think I may have when it started to creep back up. I think I may have got it out of all of it. And then when I and then when it bounced again, I got back in and caught some of this to the downside. But then the market started getting strong and then it started pushing up. So I just cut out of the rest. Uh, but still booked a nice profit in Tesla of 821. And then Twitter, Twitter was not good to me today. Uh, let's see on Twitter that was minus 685. So I had this initial strength, uh, big volume bar on that second bar. So on this pullback, I was looking to get long. It tried to push up a couple times and then just got flushed down and just could never make a new high for us. And then it just kind of chopped around, chopped around, chopped around. I uh, was able to catch a couple little bounces here uh, and, 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 and pair back that loss a little bit. But then it just then it just chopped sideways, chopped sideways, and finally cut out of it here just a few minutes ago. And then lastly, Walmart. Walmart's not one that we trade a lot, but it was one that I was watching, had on my r radar pre-market just due to, the, due to the strength and the kind of the big picture uh, daily chart. And so when uh, Apple or uh, Walmart pushed up, it came all the way down to this um, pivot here. I was thinking about getting long here, but I just, I held off. I already had too many longs on and the market wasn't very strong. 
but when it came down here, uh, it bounced off unchanged, and then when it came down here again, this is where I got long. So I had to sit through a little bit of chop, and then finally, boom, it exploded. I got out of half here, shot up again, got out of another quarter of my position, and then I think I got it in my last piece, like right here. So really nice trade in Walmart. And I was had pretty fairly small size on there as well. So anyway, plus $64 on the day. Hope to uh, make it a little bit better and trade less hours. Less time tomorrow is the plan. So tomorrow's Tuesday. We'll be streaming Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then the market is closed on Friday for Good Friday. So we'll see you in the live stream room tomorrow. See ya.